Ja Rule were on Drink Champs, and a lot of things that went viral had to do with Irv Gotti talking about his relationship with Ashanti. And people are wondering, why does he keep on talking about it? Here is what originally happened on Drink Champs. I could get past you wanting to be with Nelly. Sounds like you didn't get past that, I'm just being honest. <laughs> listen, listen, you wanna, you wanna hear how I found out? How did you find out, sir? I was at home. Uh-huh, and there wasn't no Twitter or Instagram back then. I was at home, okay. listen to this shit. This is God wanted me to find out. I was at home, NBA package, I like watching sports. Oh my God, what's this commotion going on in the stadium? Mm. We just found out what the commotion is. Nelly has walked in with the shanty. <laughs> Oh that's now, that's not what I, I know. I, did I didn't want to. I didn't want to. You know, go too in depth in it. But he said a lot more about Ashanti on Drink Champs. And Fat Joe thinks that this is sucker ish that he's doing. Fat Joe went on live, and here's what he had to say: Irv Gotti is sucker man. Whatever Irv has with Ashanti is 20 years old. It felt like he's not over the the young lady, right? And so also we didn't know that they was. F- Right? Because the whole time, I'm there. I've I never seen them together like that. Now, I'm not saying they wasn't. They was. But don't need to know. Now, it's okay if it's on a documentary. You got to say your truth for your documentary. But to go to Dream Chance and um, keep calling her a bitch. Um, yeah, like, I'm not telling stories about a girl I was with 20 years ago. In fact, I hope you die. <laughs> what is what is <laughs> What did Joe mean by that info? What did he mean? Harsh. And I will say, <laughs> yes, he did keep saying I bitch in the him. episode. And then later on, he was like, you know what? I didn't mean it. I don't mean bitch like that. I'm saying it like, you know, in a, he. I think is, Irv is self aware enough to look back on that Drink Champs episode and agree with Fat Joe. And say, I shouldn't have drank. Yes, I think that because cause, cause talking about Poom Poom from 20 years ago is wild. When I seen it, I thought it was whack, too. Like, LeBron, well, what LeBron else, wasn't even in the league. Bragging about LeBron rookie season, Poom Poom is nuts. Well, here's what Fat Joe had to say uh, more about Irv Gotti. Kind of brings less credibility to everything else you say. And uh, let me tell you something. Irv Gotti, he did discover. Irv Gotti did make it a hit. Did shoot the video. Right? I mean, the man did it. He's a genius. It's a fact. He signed DMX. He signed Jay Z. He signed Ja. The man's a genius. He's a genius. There's no question. But he make himself look crazy, disrespecting her, and the woman never really disrespected him. Yeah, you've never heard Ashanti say anything. Everything Joe yeah. said was absolutely positive. Everything, facts. Jo- yeah, everything Joe said was a fact, and you know, and they used to be they cool. Uh, well, they used to be cool, but they used to be cool. But I, I just, I, when I seen it, I was like, that's that's weak. I just you know don't ruin your legacy, King. You know that's what I would tell Brother Irv because like your legacy is stronger than that. Like, and I don't see what any of that has to do with the Murder Inc. story. Like the Murder Inc. story is powerful. We don't need those extra details. Like, how does that make the story any more stronger? And yeah. I and I also agree with Fat Joe. If it's in the documentary and it's part of that. You know, I think that's, <gasps> that's I mean, if maybe. It was part of the I think story, that's so whack. Maybe. Honestly. I mean, yeah, you, th- you think Irv is the first person, to, him, you think him and Ashanti the first executive artist to be doing stuff like that? But like, I think uh, if it's relevant to the story, you know. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't I see how it is. I can, under, I can understand. I haven't seen the documentary, so I can't say whether or not it is. Yeah, I'm in the doc. Um, I'm in the doc that's coming out, but I, I I just don't see how that's relevant to the to the murder ink story. But I can't say until I see it. If there's some type of relevancy of telling no, your story and that's, you know, it plays into something that went on. Because on Drink Champs, he was talking about the raid and why, personally, that situation affected him, you know, with Ashanti stepping away and separating herself. Yeah, but you could, say Maybe, all, you could say all of that without saying that y'all slept together. You could say that you just thought it, y'all was family and, you know, you expected more loyalty than that. You don't got to say y'all slept together. Everybody has situations, and that was 20 years ago. I just thought that was whack. I think Joe was mad at Ja, too, right? Didn't he say something about Ja? He was mad that Ja didn't defend her? Uh, uh, you know, Ja Rule was lightweight trying to defend her but it could have been like all right that's enough let's move on let's keep it going yeah i thought it was whack all right now congratulations to Nicki minaj she is getting the michael jackson vanguard video award honor from mtv so congrats i'm gonna clues bombs from Nicki minaj absolutely the president of music music talent programming and events paramount and chief content officer 
music, Paramount Plus. Bruce Gilmer, he's the um, president of all of that. He said Nikki has broken barriers for women in hip hop with her versatility and creative artistry. She has shifted the music industry and cemented her status as a global superstar with her crossover appeal, genre defying style, and continuing to be unapologetically Nikki. So, congrats. And I saw Missy Elliott also congratulated her as well. And so, uh, Missy had also previously gotten that video Vanguard Award. Okay. Mm hmm. Doesn't right. she have a single coming out this week? Is it this week? Her single? Her new single is coming out? And yes, and Queen Radio also. That's all going to be coming out. Um, okay. The next episode of Queen Radio is going to air on Thursday at 7 p.m. And then the new music. So get ready for that. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. All right, Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? Man, I need all these GOP lawmakers calling uh, for the, the, the fund the FBI to come to the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with them. Even though I agree with them. We'll talk about it. All right. Four after the hour. We'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.